Hey y'all, Richard Rip One Outdoors. We have a brand new bike to review here for you today. The company Bandit E-Bikes has reached out to us and asked us if we would take on one of their bikes and that would be the, the Bandit 4Runner. That is in the family of the Enduro line of bikes in which they offer. And I said yes. We took a look at it on the web, website and it, it looks real good. And it, look, it looks right in line with what we ride on a day, day by day basis. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna go in the shed. We have the box inside. I'll show you a couple of pictures, how the box came to us. It was in fairly decent shape, but we're gonna do the unpacking and then we'll do the assembly in the shed. Then we're gonna go out and we're gonna take a, t a test ride with it and maybe uh, run an errand or two with it while we're out and hey, well, from there, we'll go into some specs and show you some features. I tell you, it's got, I'll talk about the price on a separate part of the video, but it's got a very attractive price. And a lot of other things that I like. So y'all grab something and hang on. Hey, let's do it. Okay, y'all. We got the we got the bike out of the, all the packing and everything. We've got it <clears throat> sitting kind of right in the middle of the floor here, where we, can, where we can work around it both ways. Now we're going to start doing the assembly process, y'all. It's only just a few things to do, but uh, and the the website, the bike website, they have some good videos on there, show you how to put it together. I got a few things that I I made. Take a little more time with and uh i don't want to bore y'all but i want to i want to make sure you know a few things so let's get at it so when the bike comes out of the box this part of the fork will be turned around facing towards the rear of the bike okay we want to before you know before you get started doing anything spin that around because this has got to be facing towards the front of the bike we've got all the packing removed from the handlebar uh, let's see now. Okay, what I'm gonna do is remove these screws. We'll take the screws and we'll put the yoke back on. Make sure you get that feel, okay? That you don't want to cross thread them. Try to center them, try to center the handlebars up at this time, best you can. Okay, we got that tightened down. Now, we'll move on. Next thing we'll do, we'll put the wheel on. And we're gonna take that, take the forks loose from that platform. I'll show you how to do that. This is the, what they call the skewer. And that actually holds the wheel to this temporary platform, shipping platform. So the first thing I want to do is remove this temporary packing plastic platform from the bike. So I pull it off and I set the forks right on the floor like that. Okay. Set this to the side. Okay, so I'm going to bring my wheel in. Grab the forks if you, hey, I'm doing this by myself and I've done it before. And I, I know, you know, what to expect, but if you have any problems with doing this by yourself, grab somebody else to help you. In fact, I highly encourage it. That 
there we go. Okay, we got the wheel in place. I'm gonna let it ease down on the kickstand right there. So make sure you got that kickstand down before you start this operation. Okay, I got my skewer. There's some little springs on here on this skewer that are shaped like a triangular, a triangle shape. Uh, the, the pointed part of the spring goes in towards the wheel on both sides. Make sure you get this right. Okay, got that. I'm gonna put the spring and the nut on the opposite side. I'm tightening the nut while a quick disconnect lever is sticking straight out. I'm tightening the nut on the opposite side and I'm feeling I'm feeling for that, okay? I want that perfect engagement. Right there. And that wheel won't come off. Okay, y'all, pedal install. Pedals are marked left and right. We'll put the right on first. Right is right hand threads. Okay, got that. We'll do the opposite side just like that. Let's put the front fender on. Now, why did I put the pedals on before I put the front fenders on? It doesn't really matter. I mean, there's there's no... As long as you got a wheel on here to, uh, to hold that front end up, it doesn't matter when you put this fender on. We've got the fender, and we've got our front headlight. This headlight came out of our goodie bag in the little accessories box. While we're preparing for getting this fender in, let's... Uh, I'll show y'all that, that box of accessories and see what all we got in it and show you what to expect there. Okay, y'all. Let's put the fender on. And the light. Put our light on there. Okay, this nut is a nylon lock nut. I've seen people put the light on the back side of the bracket like this. Y'all, I don't know about all that. I'm just going to do it the way I'm used to doing it, okay? If there's a problem with it, we'll change it out. I'm going to get it semi-tight like that. I'm going to use our little hex key wrench to straighten it up. Then we'll put that final ump with our little 10 millimeter wrench behind it. There you go. Here's our wire for the light. We're gonna align the arrows. That looks good. Do a visual check just to make sure. We don't want to booger that up, do we? There you go, there's the light. Okay, now we've gotta attach our fender standoffs to these mountain points right here.
that's a four millimeter hex key wrench just in case you so you'll know that tighten that up then we'll put the other side on just the same way okay y'all I got a rear rack here I asked the bandit rep for a a rear rack because y'all know me I have to haul around a lot of uh, camera equipment and drone and whatnot and he said he would get me one but he said they are actually in production now as we speak so he pulled one off of a demo model a display model get this threaded on and I am putting blue Loctite on there it's not a huge rack but look at it it's it's pretty sharp I mean, if I can put my bag on there that's gonna be sufficient for me I'm gonna be taking a check ride on the bandit forerunner and your reason you might say a check ride because this weekend I have plans on taking it maybe down to Bay St. Louis on the Gulf Coast do some riding down there I haven't rode it yet so this will be the first test ride check ride whatever you want to call it so uh, just giving y'all an initial look at it here it's a beautiful sleek black stealthy bike and I love it uh, it's got some nice features some of which we will go over with you on a separate a separate video yeah, let's let's go for a ride. I tell you where we gotta go. Where do y'all think we gotta go? We gotta go to Walgreens to pick up some prescriptions. Yep, we're on a brand new bike today. We're going out for a lunchtime ride. Yeah, we're glad to have y'all along with us. Yeah, we're going to go out and go run to Walgreens. We're going to do a test ride on the bike, on the Bandit. And it's the Bandit 4Runner. It is in the Enduro family of bikes. These brakes, y'all, these brakes are going to be a little noisy, but it's because I haven't bedded them yet. And this is actually the first time I've rode it. So... Okay, we're going to start off in pedal assist one, which is eco mode. Okay, let's see how it does. Now I'm pedaling pretty hard and I'm hitting 10 mile per hour. Okay, but I wouldn't want to do this for long, not my 64 year old legs. 10 and a half mile per hour on pedal assist one in eco mode okay let's bump it bump it to level two there's a big old black snake oh boy he didn't make across the road somebody got him pedal assist two he's still in eco mode about 12.5 mile per hour Okay, let's go up to three. Now we'll go into normal mode. Pedal assist three, 15.7 mile per hour. And that's with me, I'm, I'm, I'm pedaling. I've got some resistance. It feels good to me. Okay, I'm gonna bump it one more. Now we're in level four. 
18.6 mile per hour. Not, not any ghost pedaling whatsoever, y'all. All right, what y'all want to do? Try, let's get let these cars get by. We'll bump it again. There we go. We're in sport mode now. Twenty one point seven. Y'all, I love this. Doing 21.7 mile per hour and I'm not ghost pedaling whatsoever. I still got some good resistance in that pedal. All right, that's five. It's got one more. Let's do it. There we go. In level six, y'all. Look at this. I am not ghost No ghost pedaling, y'all. 28.2 miles per hour. We're in sport mode. Y'all, I could do this all day long. It feels good, it feels very comfortable to bike to ride. I still got some resistance. I'm 64 years old, y'all. Still pedaling. Okay, y'all, you know what we're gonna do up here. Easy there, great truck. Hey, that's about the color of this bandit bike. Nice. Nice. I love the pedal assist. There's a lot of features about it that I'm not going to get into because I don't have the information with me. And I don't want to miss, uh, I don't want to, you know, be fibbing, be telling y'all something that's not true. Let's slow her down. Let's get it out of sport mode. I tell you what, put it back in normal mode. Go through here where they pick up the groceries at Walmart. That's the safest place to go. It's through here. I try to stay out of that parking lot, as y'all know, because there's, there's so many people backing out and trying to get out in traffic and all. Okay, let's run it. get behind this pink truck <laughs> yes, sir.
Okay, y'all. We're back with you. All right, we're gonna ease on Jim across. It's got a pretty good hole shot there with the torque. Didn't have any trouble getting out of there. So we found out with that 1134 gear that this thing, this thing will haul the mail at 28 miles per hour and will not ghost pedal. Y'all, we'll see y'all back at the house. We're going to ease on back. I've got to go back to work here shortly. Yeah, thank you, Bandit. Thank you for sending us the Forerunner to review. Uh, we did our check ride. Hey, it's 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 in excellent shape. It's a great bike. Highly recommended. And I'll, I'll tell y'all later on, I'll tell y'all that price. Okay, y'all, i got one more little video I want to show you. And probably one of the most important of the bike. If I can get this turned around where it's not a glare. Okay, maybe y'all can see that. Um, you have two different ways that you can unlock this bike. Of course, you turn it on here on the keypad here. You have plus, minus, and set buttons, and that all manipulates the, the functions over here. Uh, go on, Peckerwood. Um, you have a way to enter a password here using these these uh, plus and minus here you can enter a passcode and get into the bike the passcode that it comes with is 0569 or you can take your little fancy NFC card and just hold it over it like that and that will unlock the bike then from there you can use your plus and minus and set to uh, control all of these settings right here. One thing uh, look forward to, and I think in the mid-year 2023, the app is gonna be finished and the app will be available to us and we can be able to control all of these functions from our cell phone. I just thought that was pretty, pretty neat right there. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna show you there is how, you know, how to get in, you can have, enter that passcode or Use, the, use this NFC card and just wave it in front of it like that. There is a way now, if you don't want to have any, any lockout functions whatsoever, there is a way that you can, you can change the password to 0000, and that will knock out any, any control functions or lockout functions. And after you do that, then you just turn the power on and then the bike, the bike comes on. So there you go. And I'll, I'll leave that with you. I do plan on doing a, um, a more detailed video on this display and all the functions and the passcodes. And so look for, look for that to come out in the future. Okay, y'all. Let's talk a little more about this, this Bandit Forerunner. As you can see, it's the low step model or what I call the step through. And... I really like it. It is a true step through. I do have a water bottle holder, which I place there myself. That, that's just shown for reference. That's where you mount your water bottle holder. And, but that still doesn't pose me a problem for stepping through it. Uh, it's it's the, described as an all-terrain sport utility e-bike. It's from the family of the Enduro line of, of bikes that Bandit offers. The MSRP is currently $1,699 and currently the price is listed at $1,399. I'm going to have a RIP100 coupon code in my description that you use that coupon code and that will allow you for another $100 off and that will make your price $1,299. The available colors at this time are gray, beige and white power is a 750 watt rear hub motor with 75 newton meters torque the controller is a 48 volt 750 watt frame integrated controller rated at 18 amps 
Our battery is 696 watt hour, 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour, made by Eve Energy. Eve Energy. Charging time is six hours with supplied two amp charger. A range is claimed at 65 miles plus, and I'm gonna tell you up front, as I do with all the bikes that I've reviewed, that's gonna vary. That's gonna vary with your weight of the rider, the tire pressure, uh, wind, uh, if you're going against a crosswind or a headwind, hey, that's gonna affect your range. Top speed is up to 28 miles per hour with the pedal assist and throttle engaged. 20 mile per hour throttle only. Gearing is a seven speed Shimano gear. Tires, 26 inch by four inch puncher resistant Kenda tires. Brakes, hydraulic brakes with 180 millimeter rotors manufactured by a company called Nut. Nut manufactures some high end hydraulic brakes. Weight is 70 pounds. Controls, Bandit Smart Color LCD as we've already shown you with remote control and app sync functionality. And the app sync functionality is not available at the time of this video. We look for that later on in, uh, may possibly in a few months. Uh, password protection for security. The NFC unlock, we've already showed you that. Uh, app unlock and anti-theft detection by means of app is coming, is coming on line whenever the app comes available. Okay, now we're going to show some slides and show you some more specs on some uh, close-up pictures. Okay, y'all seen all of that. You've seen the unboxing. You've seen the assembly. You've seen the specs and features. You've seen a ride. What's left? Would I recommend it? And most of all, would I buy it? That's all that's left. And I can tell you right now, if my, my viewers know me, that I'm not gonna try to smear bunch of manure to make something look good. And they know that. And they've come to expect that of Rip One Outdoors, that we're gonna shoot straight with them. And I can tell them right straight up front that I highly recommend this bike. Not only would I highly recommend it, I would buy it. Especially with the price that they have right now. And 
when you, even with the uh, RIP 100 code that's offered there, hey, for an extra $100 off, yeah. It's, uh, this is right, as we said, this bike is right directly in line with what we ride here on RIP 1 Outdoors. As we said, it doesn't have the rack. The rack was offered me as to help me with my videos. Didn't have a water bottle holder. This was put on here by me, but it's good for reference so you can see where the water bottle holder is going to be. The battery, the battery separates from the frame. You can charge it over on your shelf. You can take it inside during the extreme temperatures. Uh, it's, it's just got a lot of features about it, y'all, that I really like. But I can tell y'all, the most exciting feature that I found even above all the security measures and everything and the, the it's very exciting to hear that an app is coming online and that we're going to be able to bluetooth funk you know use the bluetooth to uh set our settings from our phone but i'm gonna tell you the most exciting thing i found about this bike is what 28 mile per hour without ghost pedaling there you go from rip one outdoors to all my viewers and all my friends hey Check out the Bandit 4Runner and give them your support because RIP1 said it's good.